Hey everybody, I'm Nick with Nerdy Music and today we're gonna do a little cover tutorial walkthrough kind of thing on Love Like You, that end credit song from Steven Universe. So I'm just gonna start by uh, playing. Hey guys, so uh, before we get into the tutorial, let's just break down the key we're in. So we're in we're in E flat for the whole time. So let's break down your E flat major scale, or I sh you should say, um, you know, you guys go back review your E flat major scale. Know your C minor. Know your C harmonic minor as well, and A flat melodic minor wouldn't hurt for this. up to A flat. Um, so right out of the gate at the intro, that's where that A flat melodic minor kind of starts, kicks off. Actually, I guess it's not A flat melodic minor. It's um, natural. So um, first chord in the song in that piano intro is it's an A flat minor. And then we have this really cool sixths thing. And then that's our landing chord. So we've got A flat minor and B flat, A flat, and then that same line happens with your thumb in a second. So and then this beautiful chord right here, B flat seven. And then it's 13 with a flat nine in there. So B flat 13, flat nine. And then that G resolves to F. And then we're into the song. If you're familiar with the song, at this point, Rebecca Sugar would start singing. So um, this is where we're get, we'd have to learn the melody. I'll play through the melody, and you guys feel free to like pause the video, slow it down, and learn it. But here's the melody just on its own.
And right there, it's a little bit funny because I, I actually... I, that's the, the landing chord when they go into that little interlude. So the chords for that, um, E flat major, E flat major 7, to F minor 7, and then this next one, it's, it's G, but I think it's still E flat major over G. It could be G minor 7. You, could, you know, you could kind of play around with it for yourself and hear which one you like better. Do you like G minor 7 better there? Or E flat over G? Right? Just kind of two different little sounds going on there. Play around with it. You know, experiment, see which one you like best. I think it. And then from there to A flat minor six and then this one on the on the return after a flat it's most certainly e flat over g and then we have c7 flat nine and then we have f7 to b flat 13. And just because they had that in the intro with the 13 flat 9, I'm probably going to keep that as a little motivic, you know, device throughout the, the course of the song. Um, and then there's a few different ways, you know, you could just play the melody there. play the melody or you could just play really 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 simple chords in the left hand and put the melody on top All right so that's kind of like a second level past just the melody um, a third level to playing this could be to kind of take those elements of the song. So we have, we know the chords, we know the melodies, and, um, you know, maybe if you practice that kind of thing, you could do like... Something like that. That starts to get, I don't know, um, I'm not a huge fan of it, so I'm not going to use that personally. Um, I think the way I played it was kind of like the recording. It's kind of this this soft, intimate, um, this soft, intimate song, you know, love like you. If I could begin to be, um, what is it? If, if I could begin to be half of what you think of me, right? It's this really kind of close personal thing. So I'm. I'm even voicing my chords to be these close personal, right? Right? Oh, there's also that cool line. I may have missed it in my in playing through it. It's just a little piano, a little thing that happens up there. Um, if you're playing this with a singer, go for it. All day long, go for that. It's a little bit... It's a lot to catch, but, you know, it could be really cool. first section leads to to all that interlude stuff and what I'm doing to get through this interlude is I'm just kind of keeping a 
it's two chords. It's C, like C minor nine, minor 11 kind of thing. And then A flat major seven. But we're hearing, you know, probably A flat, you know, major seven sharp 11 going on there just because of that D is going to carry over from C minor and from the key of E flat, right? So what I'm doing there is I'm trying to replicate the song the best I can. And what's happening in the song at this point is a lot of texture, right? There's some little guitar stuff, some riffy stuff. So what I'm doing is... Just trying to keep something like that going. big section right so again I'm just I'm dropping big open triads in the left hand and I mean maybe not even filling in the triad down there if you don't want to you could have some kind of McCoy tinery Actually, the second time uh, in, the, in the recording, they actually go to the first one, C minor for four bars, A flat for four bars, C minor for four bars, and then they do F minor for two bars, and then G7 to send us off to. So I'm going to walk you through the chords here. And again, those same three principles, that idea of playing just the melody. You can do that. You can play the melody with simple chords. So I know the chords here are A flat. A flat minor, and then um, this next one is so A flat, A flat minor, G minor, C minor, and then F minor. I think you're so great. But I'm nothing like you. I only know. So those, that little one. Uh, A flat, A flat minor. G minor going to C minor. Uh, F minor seven. And then it's kind of like D seven over F sharp. But I'm nothing like you. Oh, um, yeah. So yeah, uh, F sharp. D, sharp, D7 over F sharp. To, back to G minor to G7 again, and that section starts to repeat. And then this time it actually goes to G7 on that chord. I wish that I... C minor 7, and then F7. It's like F13. What made you think I'm so special. Right, so after then we left off on F13, we go to A flat major seven. And I want you guys to check out this voicing. It's super, super cool. Right? leading here you can hear that in there right so the left hand and the right hand together all right 
and then it's just right back into the song again close and personal so maybe you can come up with your own way to make it interesting here Coming up on the end, it's got a little bit of a different ending. It's got like this kind of false resolution to A flat, and then it hangs on A flat for a couple bars, and then it goes to G minor seven for a couple bars. And then here's where it gets really cool. It does all these like flurry kind of like Bill Evans y kinds of things on G flat major seven, G flat major nine, you know. And then in the very last chord, is um, B major seven or C flat major seven, I guess, you know, because basically this whole song is it's either an E flat major or A flat minor. We're kind of playing between those two keys. But yeah, great stuff, guys. Um, play around with it. Come up with your own way to play it. You know, always melody, there's harmony. You can blend the two together and just make it interesting for you. And I can't wait to hear what you guys come up with. Um, if you guys have any comments or recommendations of songs we could go over in the future, drop them in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to, to like and subscribe. All right, thanks.